This little device is an absolute must have if you want to significantly improve your streaming sound quality. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Easy LE Bluetooth adapter from Oticon. So if you've been wearing hearing aids for a while, then you probably already know that there are a variety of different hearing aids that have used Bluetooth since 2014. When Bluetooth first hit the scene, it was game changing because now people could stream audio directly from their smart device into their hearing aids. We're talking phone calls, music, audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, you name it, they could stream it directly into their ears. And they could do all of it without an intermediary device that you had to wrap around your neck. This Bluetooth capability also gave you the ability to use your smartphone as a remote control for your hearing aids to change things like programs and volume. Nowadays, there's actually several different forms of Bluetooth. You have Bluetooth Classic, Bluetooth Low Energy, the Asha Bluetooth Protocol, and now Bluetooth LE Audio. All of them have their pros and cons when it comes to compatibility, stability, sound quality, and battery drain. And if you want to learn all about these different pros and cons, I will link this video down in the description for you to check out when you're done watching this one. Because in this video, we're focused on Bluetooth LE audio and using the Easy LE adapter to upgrade all of your wireless devices to use this newest form of Bluetooth. But before I do, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comment section if your current hearing aids already use Bluetooth LE audio, but you struggle to find other wireless devices that are compatible with it. Now you may know this already, but the hearing aid industry is largely responsible for the Bluetooth special interest group creating this newer form of Bluetooth. Back in 2014, when hearing aids started using Bluetooth Low Energy to connect with iPhones, they noticed that there was a big gap in the market in terms of universal connectivity. And because the hearing aid industry pushed this movement forward, a lot of hearing aids that we see coming out nowadays have the capability of using Bluetooth LE audio. But what is Bluetooth LE audio and why should you even care? Well, there are several reasons, but the first one has definitely gotta be better streaming sound quality. By using the new LC3 codec, the streaming sound quality is significantly higher than with older SBC codecs, even at lower bit rates. This means not only can you maintain a higher level of sound quality, but you can do it with less battery drain, which is important when you consider the limited battery capacity of hearing aids. Second, it allows for shareable audio. Just imagine that you're on a plane with your significant other and you're watching your favorite movie on your tablet, but you both want to listen to it. Previously, you'd have to take a pair of earbuds and you wear one of the earbuds and your spouse wear the other earbud. Now with LE Audio, you can both tap into the audio on that tablet so you can listen to the movie at the same time in both of your ears. And third, it allows for a new feature called AuraCast Broadcast Audio. This is where you can go to a public venue like a church, a museum, a sports bar, or a broad way show and stream the audio from that public venue directly into both of your hearing aids. And you know what? Bluetooth LE audio is not just limited to hearing aids. Other wireless devices like headphones and earbuds use them as well. Because of this, you can expect this AuraCast connectivity to become much more widely available than what we ever had with hearing loops and telecoils. But here's the bad news. A lot of consumer electronics do not yet have Bluetooth LE audio, which means that your hearing aids can have Bluetooth LE audio, but if the devices you're trying to connect to do not, you're going to have a real problem trying to use this new feature. In order to overcome this chicken and the egg problem, Oticon decided to create their own adapter to convert other electronic devices to be compatible with their hearing aids using this new form of Bluetooth. Now I've been testing this new Easy LE adapter from Oticon, and I have to tell you, this thing is amazing, but it does have a few drawbacks. Let's talk about the positive first. This thing is incredibly small and convenient to use. It uses a USB-C connection, which is compatible with most electronic devices at this point. And you just plug this directly into your smartphone, your laptop computer, your desktop computer, whatever the case may be, you plug it in there and it will be directly compatible. Now you can see there at the bottom, it does have about two millimeters of relief on the bottom to where you can easily use it with a case as well and not run into any issues there. The other thing that I like is that it has pass-through charging on the bottom, so you can actually plug it in and then you have the charging cable that can plug into the bottom of that as well. 
And you can even use it to stream audio directly into your Oticon hearing aids while you're charging it at the same time. And yes, it is only compatible for Oticon hearing aids that are the Oticon Intent devices or newer. Now the pairing process for this is super simple. So when you first get your adapter, all you do is you plug it directly into your phone. On the very bottom of it, you'll see a flashing light letting you know that it's searching for devices to pair with. Then you basically take your Oticon hearing aids, you pull them out of the charger, you let them boot up, and then it automatically pairs with the adapter. If you want to redo the pairing, let's say like with a different pair of hearing aids there's a little tiny pinhole here on the front of it which you probably can't see here but you actually push a pin into that pinhole and it resets it so you can repair with a different set of devices. And perhaps the best thing about the Easy LE adapter other than the really good sound quality is that it's plug and play. I can literally unplug it from this device, plug it into this tablet here. Now this has LE audio capabilities, but if I want to switch it, I can take it out of that. I can put it into this tablet. Now this has LE audio capabilities, and if I take it out of here, I can put it in, let's say, this old Samsung phone here, and now this has the capability of using Bluetooth LE audio. I have tried this adapter on numerous different Android and Apple devices. I'm talking phones, laptops, desktops, tablets, you name it, it's worked in every single one of them. Now many Android devices, like my Samsung Galaxy S25 here, this already has Bluetooth LE audio capabilities, but it still works with it even though Oticon does not make any claims that it does. Oticon has also not claimed that this works with Apple devices, but I can tell you that this thing works really well with Apple devices too, which is really important because Apple devices do not have Bluetooth LE audio yet, so you have to use an adapter if you want to stream with this higher sound quality. Now you might be asking yourself, well hey, it's got USB-C, but can you convert that to like USB-A? And you know what? You absolutely can. I was able to test this on my wife's laptop computer and I just bought a little adapter like this one right here that converts it from USB-C to USB-A and it works like a charm. That's right, we're using an adapter on an adapter and if you want a link to a compatible adapter, I'll have it down in the description of the video here. Unfortunately, I've not been able to find a USB-C to lightning adapter that actually works on older Apple devices. As far as phone call streaming goes, the sound quality is also really good and you get to be completely hands-free when you're using Bluetooth LE audio. Essentially, this little adapter has allowed me to take pretty much any wireless device that I have, no matter what form of Bluetooth it uses, and convert it into a device that can communicate directly with my Oticon hearing aids using LE Audio. This essentially solves the chicken and the egg problem. And for a cost of around $99, in my opinion, it's totally worth it. All that said, the Easy LE adapter does not solve all of the problems that are associated with devices that do not have built-in LE audio. For instance, you cannot use the Easy LE adapter to access AuraCast. AuraCast accessibility requires that you have a phone or a tablet that can tap directly into an AuraCast broadcast signal. And even if your smart device has the ability to stream AuraCast, this adapter does not allow you to tap into that because your hearing aids are not directly connected with the phone, they're connected with the adapter. The other little thing that I don't like about the adapter is really kind of how small it is because now if I plug this into the bottom of my phone and I want to try to stand my phone up, it doesn't give it good balance, so that kind of sucks. I also tried it with other LE Audio compatible hearing aids, and it doesn't work with them either. It basically only works with Oticon hearing aids, and those hearing aids have to be Bluetooth LE Audio compatible. And my final issue with the Easy LE adapter is that it will probably be completely obsolete in the next two to three years. I do not think that it will take us long for all of your electronic devices to be upgraded to Bluetooth LE Audio because it is that much better. And when everything does get upgraded, this thing can just be thrown in the trash. But if you want to get the most out of your Oticon hearing aids and your other wireless devices do not yet have Bluetooth LE audio, the Easy LE adapter is a great way to give you that access.